Ivor Johnson, take a look at this pistol. This is a 5 inch 1911. Now I've done videos on the three pistols you're about to look at. So the link is below for those. My name is Tom, your host with Weapons Education. Thank you for tuning in. Please thumb up the video. It means a lot to me personally. Share it with everybody you know because Ivor Johnson's a very special company that goes back to the 1800s and has been revamped recently over the last decade based right here in my home state of Florida. And what I like about Ivor Johnson, the reason why I've got three of them, I want to show you all three, is that they can go up in value. And let me explain. I mean, how many 1911s do you walk into a gun shop and see with this finish? See this beautiful gloss plated finish. And they do all of this in Florida, in the United States. And with the grips that they come with, and like I said, this is the 5 inch 1911 and each one of the individual videos I've done on these guns about all the details is below. Now they're all series 70 the Ivor Johnsons and I think they're going to go up in value because they have a tendency to make a certain look and then all of a sudden oh I want that look and then it's not available so then you gotta talk to the company and see if they'll make it again which makes this rare which makes this go up in value so Ivor Johnson is known for quality known for making these really incredible looking 1911s at low cost everyone's saying well I'm always showing such expensive guns well you know, I, I've showed you a lot of guns in different price ranges. This, these range from $400 up to about $1,000 for the Ivor Johnsons. All of Ivor Johnson's 1911s are Series 70, which means there is no firing pin block like in the Series 80, which can be problematic. So therefore, you're good to go with the Series 70. A lot of people like that. The 1911s come with a flat, serrated steel, 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 mainspring housing to hold up the rigors of, ever, of the everyday shooter. They really put high quality parts on all of their 1911s. And the finish is really what gets me with the Ivor Johnsons. We're going to look at two more here. I want to move along quickly. Let me show you how I carry it right now. This is a shoulder holster that I have from my custom shoulder holster factory weapons education. And I'll tell you, this is one nice way to carry any pistol for that matter. But a five inch 1911, this is, this is the bomb. And then you've got your three mags pointed towards your belly button nothing like it in the, in, in the country in the world for that matter I pay for the highest grade leather and the link is below for my custom shoulder holsters the portion that goes behind your back is phenomenal it's huge it just dissipates all the weight it's perfect and we're looking at an Ivor Johnson in there now and this is the bikini hence the word bikini meaning that it's shorter and you can also get it where the whole entire muzzle is covered so it's up to you. But let me show you the next Ivor Johnson right now. Let's take a look at the second Ivor Johnson I have. You know I'm a 10 millimeter buff. This is a six inch barrel. So for you hunters, here, here's a great option for you. Plus the porting, which is all done in the United States here in Florida. Zoom in here, Tammy, look at that. The barrel is is ported the slide is ported reduces recoil super high-end quality the big news I just found out today is that you can now get this and the first time I did a video on this six inch 10 millimeter it's a 10 millimeter this will take down anything in North America assuming you're using double tap the highest pressured, highest quality ammo, in my opinion, for self-defense or hunting, 
If you're using double tap in this XL, Eagle XL 6 inch 10 millimeter, oh my gosh, it'll take down anything in North America. And now is available. It's not even on their website yet. But that's what's so cool with Ivor Johnson. You can now get it in this finish here on the bottom this, if you want. This, this chrome mirror finish. So that's what I like about Ivor Johnson is they have finishes that come and go which makes the prices go up. Let me show you my third one and it's a three inch and I've been using this for an ankle pistol. Oh, all these safety check guns and I tell you what this is this is one nice little package this three inch it's called a thrasher and uh, 45 ACP thrasher SS look at that finish on that and let me know what you think about Ivor Johnson if you own one and if you don't I really do highly recommend it you will be happy you will be excited when you go to the range and shoot this for for practice, for outdoor shooting, for sporting, for hunting, for self-defense. It's one package that is super high-end, and I'll tell you what, I think they're going to go up in value because they're coming out with some unique ideas, and I'll tell you more down the road about some of the new ideas they have coming out. And that's what's going to make some of these pistols really go up in value. My name is Tom, your friend, your host with Weapons Education. And let me know what you think about 1911s in general, right? 1911s. They'll be here in, geez, 3011, right? It's all good, my friends. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>